Hello again. Uh, the reason I am in the same shirt as the last video is because it is the same day. I happen to receive my goodies on the same day, so I'm recording my video on the same day, even if I won't post it right away. Um, so, as I said in the last video, my next box contains books. Now, these books come from my book box. That's the, the name of the subscription box. And what intrigued me about my book box is that it's um, it's $39.95 a month. And you're supposed to get um, two books from the genres of your choosing, which is great because a lot of the... Um, book box subscriptions make you choose one genre and stick to it and if you're like me you read everything and it's hard to make that decision so um the way it works is you get to pick two different genres and they will mail you books from those genres along with a couple other goodies um and the other cool thing is unlike most subscription boxes my book box has the option to purchase a single box um as opposed to uh, setting up an account where you get a box every month. So that way, if you really, truly just want to try it out, like I've been doing, just get the single box. And then you can decide later whether or not you want to get the subscription. And you don't have to worry about going in and canceling or automatically renewing, anything like that. So I actually did. I love to read, and I don't care what I read. So... I went ahead and tried a couple different things with my book box. Um, I got a one-time box, and honestly, at the moment, I can't remember what two genres I chose. And then I also um, I got another box, and that one I know for sure contains mystery and nonfiction. But your other choices are women's fiction, um, young adult. And then actually, really cool, children's books. You can either choose ages 3 to 7 or 8 to 12. So if you're a parent, you could get a book box that has a book for your child and a book for yourself and really encourage that love of reading um, by reading together and each getting your own book in the mail, which I think is a really sweet thing, a sweet idea. So um, I'm going to open both my boxes. They come in this cute green box that says my book box. And it says on the side, everything you need, nothing you don't. Specially selected books for everyone delivered monthly to your door. So, I'm going to open up this first one. And I uh, open it up. And inside it's got a little note and my book. So this note says, hello book lovers, spring is in the air and the weather is warming up, at least in Dallas and NYC. We find ourselves heading outside to enjoy the sunshine, budding flowers, and a good book. And this month's book will not disappoint. In case you're stuck inside, you'll still enjoy the scent of spring with our new secret garden travel candle from Tidy Whitey Soap and Candle Company. We've been burning this soy candle for hours and love it. Spring forward and read on. So that's the message I got. Um, so my box contains a couple books and a candle from the Tidy Whitey Soap and Candle Company. Here's my candle scent is the secret garden. It is a 100% soy wax candle. Oh, it smells really good. It smells like a garden. Um, flowers, I'd say that's lilac, maybe hyacinth. It's really delicious. I could just sit here sniffing that all day. Okay, so there's that lovely candle, which I always personally like. And then I have a couple books in here. My first book is a paperback book called Somewhere Out There by Amy Hotvenny. Um, this says, oh, and I got a little bookmark from my book box. 
that talks about the book. It says, we had a hard time forgetting this book was fiction. We imagined what their lives would be like if they had not been forced to give up their family. Ooh. So something about a family giving up. Oh, cool. I got a little net sign by the author. It's a, um, it's just a book plate signed by the author of the book. And then also a little note from the author herself. Uh, dear reader, um, and it looks like the author's just telling me a bit about her journey in writing the book. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm already liking this box. So there's book number one. Book number two is a hardcover, Rebel of the Sands by Alan Hamilton. And this also contains a signed book plate by the author and a bookmark from my book box talking about the book and what they loved about it. Um, so super awesome. I, I'm in love with this box. That is so cool. Um, so there's box number one. Like I said before, I had chosen um, mystery and nonfiction. I don't think either of these are nonfiction, so I'm going to guess that this is a one-time box I chose. And that means I'm guessing mystery and young adult or women's fiction. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe it was women's fiction. Anyway, so then box number two should be the um, mystery and nonfiction. So I open this one up. I've got the same, same note, but different inside. So let's see what I got inside here. Um, I've got the same candle again, which is a good thing. I love the scent. Um, and I'm sure it's just a candle they put in all their March boxes. Um, I guess I should show you this before I open it. I just pulled this out and I'm opening it. And it looks like I got a really cool little tote bag. If I can't take my books, I'm not going. It's true. I don't even go to work without my books. So yay, a little tote bag. Very nice. And I also have my two books. Uh, number one is called Misfortune by Lauren Weedman. I'm going to guess this is a nonfiction book. My signed book plate. My bookmarker about the book and why they liked it. And book number two is also paperback. This one's called Black Orchid by Vaughn C. Hardecker. And I have my little bookmark. And while I don't have a signed book plate for this book, I have a letter from the author um, about why he wrote the book, The Black Orchid, which is a crime thriller, according to the author. So, pretty cool. Um, so like I said before, the boxes are $39.95 a month. In this particular box, I got a book that's worth $16.99 and a book priced at $16 plus my candle and my little tote bag. So, I mean, the books alone are about $33 in cost. My candle in the toe, I don't know what to price the candle at, but um, I'm going to say probably the candle in the toe are slightly more than six bucks. So I'm getting um, just over the value of what I paid, maybe like 41, 42, something like that. Um, and then in the other box, this book, my hardcover book is 18 dollars 
and my paperback is 16 that's a total of 34.99 plus the value of the candle whatever that is so you're paying almost exactly um the amount of the value that you get in the box and you have to also um take into account shipping and i can't remember if this box charges shipping or not but um i'm pretty sure they don't but in any case i personally am in love with my book box um i would highly recommend it if you need um you know just to freshen up your reading library um i'm excited to read all these books and yes i will read them all because that's how i am um so hope that was informational i will see you again um next time around i actually don't have a box waiting for me so i don't know what it'll be fingers crossed it's something fun thanks for watching